This is Pat with the Crystal Lake Public Library and today at Afternoon Craft Corner we're going to be showing you how to create a shoji screen lantern. The instructions for this craft will be found on the library's calendar and this will first be shown on January 14th, 2021. Supplies needed, you'll need craft sticks. You can use the jumbo size, or um, you can even use popsicle sticks, but you will need 17 of them. You'll also need cardboard to create a pattern for your tissue paper and a pencil. You'll need a glue gun, scissors, bottle cap or something that you can use to hold your flameless tea light. And whatever you do, do not use a real candle with this craft. It's wood and paper, not a good mix with a flame of a candle. So let's begin. So we're going to start with um, a craft stick. You're gonna need 17 of these. And what you're gonna do is you're going to be snipping off the rounded edges on each of these. I found that the scissors works best. You could try a knife. Okay. And then what you'll do is you'll just kind of smooth it out so it's not, not uh, raspy on anything. And try and even it out as best you can. You can use sandpaper for this also. So you're gonna repeat that with another 15 of your um, craft sticks. You're gonna leave one in reserve that will not have the, the uh, rounded edges taken off. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to take four of them that have had the edges removed and you're going to basically lay it out into a square. And at the top of this, you're going to even it out with the top of your side stick. And you're going to leave a little, about maybe a quarter, three eighths of an inch on the edges of this here to allow for you to join the sides together. And you'll do the same thing on the bottom, except that there you're going to go up about a quarter of an inch. And then you'll take your glue gun. So, and same thing on the bottom here, about a quarter of an inch up. And you wanna try and make this as square as you can make it and as, as even. It just makes it easier when you go to put things together. Once um, your, your glue has dried, you'll just want to remove all your tails and so on. Then you're going to repeat this with um, four panels. So you want four of these squares. Once you've done that, then you get a piece of cardboard and pencil and you'll just trace on the inside what's going to fit inside and then you'll cut out about quarter to three eighths of an inch beyond that and this is your pattern 
for your tissue paper. For your tissue paper, and you can use just plain white tissue paper, you could use parchment paper, you can certainly use colored tissue paper. There's some beautiful patterns out there. Um, but you want something that's that's translucent, that light can go through. So then you will trace four of these for each side of the lantern and so on, okay? We've already done that. and have one of our pieces here ready to go. This here has been cut out. And so then what you're going to do is, you're going to start from the top and try to keep it as even as possible. Okay, and then you'll do another side. Try and get that in there so that you don't have any openings. And another side. And the bottom. You will repeat this for all four panels. So you've got, you'll wind up with four panels um, all set to go. And once they're dry and cooled off and all the, the tails removed, you're ready to um, put them together. You've got all four panels. You wanna make sure that you have the bottoms uh, all next to each other. And then you're just going to take with your glue gun And trying to keep it as even as you can. Press. And hold it just for a little bit so it sets. But then you have something at a 90 degree angle. Okay, and then you'll do the same thing here. Hold it. It doesn't usually take too long. Okay, so now we have our sides, and now this, of course, gets a little tricky. Make sure that you're doing this at a 90 degree angle so that it, it all evens out. And then the last one. So now we have to um, create um, a holder for our flameless tea light. To do that, we're going to need uh, our last stick that was that did not have anything removed from the ends, and a bottle cap of some kind, and our glue gun. You'll join the bottle cap to the center. Of the stick. Once that's 
set. We will turn our lantern upside down and also attach on either side at the bottom. Let it set. Doesn't take long. And then you can place flameless tea light inside and there you have your shoji screen lantern these lanterns are fairly quick um, and easy to make and inexpensive and so um, are easily adapted uh, for um, tables at a party or an event you could certainly do them in, in different colors kind of depending on whatever 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 you've got in terms of tissue paper. Um, you could also paint your, your uh, craft sticks before you put it together, any color that, that uh, works. And notice for this one, I used a pie tin uh, for my holder. Uh, it adds a little bit more, um, I think, light to the, uh, the lantern. And here's another one uh, made with popsicle sticks that we just put together here and just so, so it makes a taller lantern. So I hope you have enjoyed um, today's craft. If you have any questions or comments, um, our contact information will be at the end of this video. Thank you.